The Ortur Laser Master 3 is a 10 watt diode laser with a work area of 400 by 400 millimeters. The 10 watt output allows for quicker engravings and improved cutting efficiency. The laser module has a kickstand built into the laser for quickly setting the focal distance. For safety, there's a large emergency stop on top along with multiple sensors to kill the laser if the machine is pushed or lifted while running. There's optional air assist for cleaner, quicker cuts, built-in risers for using a rotary, and it uses sensorless homing, which means less wires and fewer parts. The Laser Master 3 also includes wireless connectivity, which allows for jobs to be run from Lightburn without physically connecting to your computer. The wireless control is intended to prevent tripping over wires and under no circumstance should you run a laser remotely or from a different room. Make sure you are using safety glasses rated for your laser and that you are supervising each job from start to finish. In this video, we will go through the process of getting the Ortur Laser Master 3 up and running in Lightburn. We will cover the process for both Windows and Mac, including updating the machine's firmware and getting the wireless connection set up. The Laser Master 3 is a newer laser, and we recommend being on Lightburn version 1.3 or newer to take advantage of all of its features. Timestamps are available below so that you can jump around as needed. The Ortur Laser Master 3 uses standard COM port communication, and most current operating systems will not require a driver to connect. If you are running Windows 7 or 8, you may need the CDC driver linked in the description below. Plug the power cable into the laser and connect the included USB cable from the laser to your computer. Holding down the power button for 5 seconds will power on the laser, which will automatically home to the front left corner. If the machine has continued beeping or does not power on, make sure the emergency stop is not pressed, the key is turned right to the on position, and that the included microSD card is installed in the controller. We are now ready to download and install Lightburn. Head to lightburnsoftware.com, which will also be linked in the description. In the navigation bar on top of the homepage, click on the download slash trial link. Then scroll down until you see the four different versions of Lightburn. For Windows, there is a 32-bit and a 64-bit version. Most modern computers will be 64-bit, and Windows 11 only comes in a 64-bit version. If you want to confirm your Windows install, you can click on the start menu and type system information. In the system information app, there is a row labeled system type that will tell you whether you are running a 64 or 32-bit version of Windows. In my case, we can see that it says X64 based PC. With that info, we will click on the Windows 64-bit version of Lightburn to download the installer. Save the installer, and once the download completes, click on it to open the installer window. The on-screen prompts will guide you through the rest of the process. Once you get to the final window of the installer, you will see a few different options for additional drivers. These are specifically for larger DSP machines or Galvo lasers and can be ignored for the Laser Master 3. Click Finish to complete the install and launch Lightburn. The first time you boot up Lightburn, you will see a window asking for a license key that will also give you the option to start your trial. If you have a license, you will need to enter it here, and if not, click Start Trial to begin your 30-day trial. Next, you will see the device list. I have a few devices already listed, but if you've not used Lightburn before, yours will be blank. Click on the Find My Laser button. This will open a window that will scan your computer to detect the laser. Click on Next to begin scanning. If the laser is not found, make sure that your machine is powered on and plugged in with USB. If it is still not found, try a different USB cable and port on your computer. What we should see when we click Next is our laser listed. We can see that it found the Ortur LM3 machine with a work area of 400 by 400 millimeters that is a G-code type connected over USB. Next, click Add Device. Here you can name the laser something unique or keep it as Ortur LM3. For the work area, these values were read off of the laser's controller and we will leave them as is. The origin for the Laser Master 3 is the front left, so we do not need to change anything. And since the machine has sensorless homing, we will want Auto Home Laser on Startup enabled. The final page is just a summary, and we will click Finish to create the device. We can now see the Ortur Laser Master 3 listed in our device list. If you have multiple devices, selecting a device from the list and choosing Make Default will automatically launch Lightburn with that device selected. You can see the current default device by the little asterisk. 
Click OK to close out of the window, and if we look to the right in the laser window, we can see the Orter LM3 is selected and the device status shows ready. Your laser is now set up and ready to be used in Lightburn. If you're wanting to run the laser wirelessly, you can now jump to the section where we will cover updating the machine's firmware and configuring the wireless connection. The process for this is the same on Mac or Windows. The Orter Laser Master 3 uses standard COM port communication and macOS should not require a driver install. Plug the power cable into the laser and connect the included USB cable from the laser to your computer. Holding down the power button for 5 seconds will power on the laser, which will automatically home to the front left corner. If the machine has continued beeping or doesn't power on, make sure the emergency stop is not pressed, the key is set to the right on position, and the included microSD card is installed in the controller. Starting in macOS Ventura, you will get a notice when you connect your laser, asking if you would like to allow the accessory to connect. Make sure to select Allow to prevent any issues later on. We are now ready to download and install Lightburn. To do this, head to lightburnsoftware.com, which will also be linked in the description. In the navigation bar on the top of the homepage, click on the download slash trial link. Then scroll down until you see the four different versions of Lightburn. Clicking on the macOS version will download the disk image file needed to install Lightburn. Once downloaded, click to open the file. In the Finder window, simply drag the Lightburn icon into the Applications folder to install it. Next, head down to Launchpad and open Lightburn. The first time you click to open Lightburn, you'll get a pop-up warning and will need to click Open. In Lightburn, you will see a window asking for a license key that will also give you the option to start your trial. If you have a license key, you'll need to enter it here, and if not, click Start Trial to begin your 30-day trial. Next, you will see the device list. I have a few devices already listed, but if you have not used Lightburn before, yours will be blank. Click on the Find My Laser button. This will open a window that will scan your computer to detect the laser. Click on Next to begin scanning. If the laser is not found, make sure that your machine is powered on and plugged in with USB. If it's still not found, try a different USB cable and port on your computer. What we should see when we click Next is our laser listed. We can see that it found the Orter LM3 machine with a work area of 400 by 400 millimeters that is a G-code type connected over USB. Next, click Add Device. Here you can name the laser something unique or keep it as Orter LM3. For the work area, these values were read off of the laser's controller and we will leave them as is. The origin for the Laser Master 3 is the front left, so we do not need to change anything. And since the machine has sensorless homing, we want Auto Home Laser on Startup enabled. The final page is just a summary and we will click Finish to create the device. We can now see the Orter Laser Master 3 listed in our device list. If you have multiple devices, selecting a device from the list and choosing Make Default will automatically launch Lightburn with that device selected. You can see the current default device by the little asterisk. Click OK to close out of the window, and if we look to the right in the laser window, we can see the Orter LM3 is selected. The laser should immediately connect after the device has been created. If not, restart Lightburn to reset the connection. The status will change to ready and you are now able to run your first job. If you are wanting to run the laser wirelessly, in the next section we will cover updating the machine's firmware and configuring the wireless connection. The process for this is the same on Mac or Windows. Before setting up the wireless connection, we need to make sure the laser is on the latest firmware version. With the Laser Master 3 connected in Lightburn, clicking on the console tab will allow us to see the information that has been read off of the controller. Scrolling through, we are looking for the line that starts in OLF. We can see that the Orter laser firmware currently installed is 205RC25. With this info, head to the download section for the Laser Master 3 on Orter's website. This will be linked in the description of the video. Here we can see that the latest version is 207 RCO, which is newer than ours and we will need to update. Under the Downloads tab, click on the download link to download the latest version. Make sure to go with the stable release and not the beta. The firmware will download in a compressed zip file, which will need to be unzipped. In the extracted folder, the firmware update file we need is the .bin file. Now that we have this file, we need to put the laser into upgrade mode. 
With the laser still plugged into your computer, hold down the power button for 5 seconds to power off the laser. Then, press and hold the power button again. When the power button starts to flash, press the small reset button on the inside near the microSD card while still holding down the power button. The lights around the power button will begin to cycle between red, blue, and green, letting you know that you are in upgrade mode. Back in your Finder window on Mac or File Explorer window on Windows, the Orter will show on the left as a mounted device named OLM3 Update. All that is left to do is drag the firmware update.bin file over to the OLM3 update device. The transfer should be fairly quick, and as soon as the transfer is completed, the laser will update itself. This whole process should take no longer than a minute, and upon completion, the Laser Master 3 will restart and home itself. If you still have Lightburn open, close out and reopen it to connect to the laser. Just like we previously checked the firmware version of the console, we can check again to confirm that the laser is now running the latest firmware version. Setting up the wireless connection for the Laser Master 3 and Lightburn is a pretty simple process. Make sure that the laser is powered on, plugged in with USB, and that the status in the laser window reads ready. Then click on the console tab and type $74 equals, followed by your network name, which in my case is Lightburn. This is case sensitive, so double check that both spelling and capitalization is correct before hitting enter to submit. Next, type $75 equals and your network password. I created a temporary network for this and will enter my password pew pew 123, then hit enter to submit. The last thing we need to type is dollar uppercase WRS to reset the wireless on the laser with our new settings applied. Depending on your network, there should be a fairly quick process and the console will display the IP address that has been assigned to your laser. Highlight this address and hit Command C on Mac or Control C on Windows to copy the address. Then click the device button in the laser window to open the device's window. In the list of devices, double click on the Orter LM3 to open the device configuration. On the second page, we will change the selection from Serial USB to Ethernet TCP, then click Next. The next page will have us enter in the IP address that we were given from the console. Since we copied this to our clipboard, hitting Command P on Mac or Control P on Windows will paste the IP address in. We do not need to change any other setting, so we can click Next and Finish to apply our changes. Clicking OK to close out of the device list, we can now see the Laser Master 3 no longer shows a COM port in the laser window since we are connected wirelessly and the status shows ready. At this point, you can disconnect the USB cable. The laser is set up and ready to run your first job completely wirelessly. We recently released a project video creating an awesome QR code Wi-Fi coaster that will teach you some of the common tools in Lightburn while making a functional part that will be linked in the description. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to not miss any new videos and check out our existing tutorial playlist for additional guides on mastering Lightburn.